hotel balcony antennas. I have been searching and looking for something that actually works for a long time. Now, I've tried mag loops with not too much success, kind of inside the room, a place I was at didn't have a balcony. I've tried a slinky antenna on the balcony of an of when I was in Hawaii, uh, the QRP slinky type antenna. I didn't have much uh, luck with that either. Um, I have thrown a wire off the side of a balcony, like a random wire with a on at the top at the beach, and that, that worked okay. But we're looking for something small and compact that'll work, and I found it. And I'm going to show you. I just just put this back up and packed it away, but I want to show you my success with this antenna here. This is called the MA-01 antenna. Now, I bought this thing months ago. Um, I think I got it on AliExpress. I'll try to find some links or I'll, somewhere or somehow if you're looking for it. I'm not trying to sell this thing. I'm just trying to show you what I used. Um, this is cool. It has got a little small telescopic whip and coils. It's got a coil for 40, 20, 15, and 10. And then it's got the base that it screws on. And as you can see, that it's not going to go on just anything. You got to have something else for it to screw onto. So with that said, I also have had this for a while. I went rummaging through my box. This is what's kind of like the red slug, but this is a, it's called a, a GP base or ground plane base. And uh, this, I can put the antenna system on this, the, the uh, 239 to 259, boom, there, and then the coax here, and mount this thing on something else I've had for a while. This is like a picnic table type antenna uh, base. And I, this came, I think, I've had this for about a year. I think I got this from Chelligans. Uh, I had it shipped over there from them as well. I, so the idea was to clamp all this together uh, from the balcony of my hotel, which is just up the road here. I'm uh, actually sitting in Nag's Head right now. Spent the night last night in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Got up this morning and this is what I did. Okay, here we go in what is possibly the most compromised antenna <laughs> I've ever used. Uh, that's the Kitty Hawk Fishing Pier. That's the Atlantic Ocean here, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. So I'm up on my balcony here. I'm actually only on the second floor. And here is the MA01 antenna system. Now I couldn't get, I, this is pretty cool. I've had this clamp for a while. I think I got this from Chelligan. So I'll have to look and see if I can find I've had all this stuff quite a while. Let's see if I can find it. But um, I couldn't get it to fit on the big uh, vinyl-coated uh, railing there. So I took two two chairs I had here on the deck, and I could get it up. I just wanted to get it higher than the railing. All right. Also, what I have here is a uh, this. I Once again, I have to see if I can figure out where I bought this stuff. I've had it forever. But there's the connector uh, with the uh, basically UHF or... PL259, SO239 connection. Anyway, there it is. This is the uh, antenna itself, what comes in the box. And uh, I've got some coax. I got two counterpoints. What I did was this one I cut for uh, resonance. It is uh, 10 meters. I figured the two bands I'm really gonna try are 10 and 20 meter band. We'll start with 20, as you can see. That one, that counterpoise is a quarter wave for 10 in the SSB section. And then I got one over here that's a quarter wave four 20 meter band and it's hanging down there a little ways but uh and i'm sure interacting with all this metal and railing or whatever it probably doesn't matter but uh this is it and there is i got the first one on i've got the the 20 meter band i did i went inside and with my antenna uh analyzer the rig master i did have to trim it down three or four inches the little whip but uh, I, it, I dialed it in and nailed it right where I want to on the 20 meter band. So let's, uh, let's go see if we can get out here or go inside. I'll show you the rig and make some contacts. We'll start on the 20 meter band here with this uh, compromise of an antenna. And here inside the hotel room, got my Yesu FT710. You guys know I'm becoming like a super fanboy of this radio. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is... Um, uh, also, I brought along my, one of my little uh, LiPo 4 batteries, a 12 amp hour battery. So I'm hearing some uh, I mean, receive and actually some pretty quiet receive here on 20. Not a lot of action on 20, but I hear that. 
I will just be absolutely amazed if I can make a contact at all with uh, I don't know if you can see it out, with that antenna out there. But we're gonna give it a shot here from Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Let's go have some fun. Your mouth can lick me, no, no doubt about that. All right, well, I'm gonna bring uh, Walt in here, K4OGO, and uh, uh, say good morning to, I'm sorry. Did I say that right, K4OGO, yeah. Uh, bring Walt on board. He likes to pop in here with us as well. And I uh, hope all is going well for you, Walt. And then we'll turn around and let, uh, let you get to some of the others as well. But anyway, coming through here loud and clear from VP9ID. Go ahead. Hey, good morning. Good morning from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I've got a really crazy antenna. It's uh, about a uh, one meter long little tiny telescopic whip on the balcony of my hotel uh, on the beach here in Kitty Hawk. You guys are uh, all, I'm receiving well. I hope uh, I'm getting out to you. Uh, you guys are all have a great signal here. Uh, the S meter is not telling the truth because you, uh, by ear, you have five nine here to uh, Outer Banks here in North Carolina. And I guess I'm looking out at the uh, ocean, looking right over to where you guys are at. So good morning, good morning from uh, North Kakalaki, North Carolina, the Outer Banks there, my friend, VP9ID, K4OGO. Yes, everyone's sounding great this morning here, and, and it's, I'm really surprised uh, with this compromise of an antenna I've got here. Matter of fact, I have somebody with me that's going to say good morning. Say good morning to everyone. This is my wife, Allison, Mrs. K4OGO. Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's doing great today. And uh, she's here with me uh, watching me play radio and uh, having her second cup of coffee there. Hey, everyone, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll sit here and listen for a little bit, but uh, I, thanks for letting me check in and have a little fun this morning. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, back to net. All right, and good morning to that lovely young lady you have with you. We see her quite often when you take her out with you, and uh, it's always nice to see her, and I hope she's doing well. Okay. Well, okay, that's fun. I'm gonna put the 10 meter band on now. We're gonna give it a try on 10 meters. I'll take the coil off here, the 20 meter band coil, cause that was all I could hear was Bermuda. So let's, uh, let's, let's give 10 a try. And here we go for the 10 meter band. Let's get this thing, uh, see how much tuning I've got to do to make this thing uh, work here for 10 meters. This should be better, a uh, shorter antenna for 10 anyway. So let's give this a shot. Okay. One quick little uh, adjustment, and we're good to go there. Let's go have some fun. For Germany, uh, Oscar Germany? Yeah, it's Kilo 4 Oscar Germany. Oscar, K4OGO. You are 5'5", five, 5x5 five, five five to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. 5x5 uh, also. Five five I can hear you again on the 10 meters. The name is Johnny West. Thank you and a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. So, Hey, Roger that, you're 5'7 as well. I'm actually sitting in a hotel room on the Outer Banks of North Carolina with a tiny little antenna on the balcony there. And uh, your signal is just wonderful. It's good to get you in the log there, my friend. Roger, Roger, Ward, uh, you're 5 and 7, 5 and 7. I'm running uh, 300, uh, 300 watts. BMX, BMX, 40 feet. Good morning to you. Good afternoon, Colombia. Water, you're 5 and 5 with QS Baker. The best team, not ticket. 5 by 5. Go ahead, Water. Okay, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, thank you very much for the call. You're 59. Uh, name is Volado, Victor Lima, Alpha Delta Oscar. 5 and 9, and thank you for the new contact, yeah? Yes, you're five nine as well. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, on the Outer Banks, right by the Atlantic Ocean. There, uh, just kind of portable in a hotel room. Uh, back to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's your antenna, Rick? A little small telescopic whip uh, with a coil under it uh, on the balcony. This is a very compromised antenna, so I'm um, uh, good to get such a good signal report from you there. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
Okay, you are really S9, uh, really S9, and uh, no objection on audio and something. So beautiful copy. Thank you very much. I enjoy in the hotel and uh, vacation, whatever. Uh, 73, uh, good uh, day, uh, and uh, happy holidays to you and yours. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. Walt, 73, Echo 70, Tango. So there you go. Um, I found something that worked. Did it work well? Ah, band conditions were probably awfully, they were great on 10, to be honest with you. On 20, the only thing I could hear and the only thing that was going on for me was that Bermuda. And I, look, I'm looking out the window, basically, at Bermuda on 20. So, and, and let's be honest with you, that thing on 10 was less less coil and a whole lot more of the antenna. So a lot more efficient uh, on the 10 meter band. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I just, I, um, it, it worked it, somewhat. It worked well. I had help. I was by the ocean for sure. I mean, I, that is a given my location, especially on 20, my location on 20 did it for, uh, for making the contacts here on the Bermuda net and having fun there and talking with, uh, with some great people. I love that net net. I love talking to the guys over in Bermuda. Um, 10, I could have sit there all day and just made contacts was, uh, pretty cool. That, that was neat. So all in all a fun time and an antenna that, um, that works. I will try. Um, uh, I, I'm, like I said, I'm down in the outer banks right now. We're having fun. My wife's visiting a friend. I figured while she's doing that, I'd come and talk about the antenna. Um, I'm going to go get her in a little bit, and we're going to go get some dinner. But, um, yeah, it was just a fun time. I don't have links, maybe. If I can find some stuff, I'll put it below. Um, and I don't have any affiliates or anything with any of these people. It's just that this was something I've been trying to do, and this was – Probably, not probably, it was definitely my most successful balcony, um, hotel balcony antenna. Now, my I thought up the idea of the counterpoise wires that would somewhat be resonant, I guess. They were cut at quarter wavelengths for the 20 and the 10 meter band. Although I'm sure there was some coupling with the metal, the building. I don't know if that helped hurt, if it did anything other than, you know, it was just a decent counterpoise tuning it in and you know or, or what have you but um there you go it worked for me so um if you're i just i've heard some people I've, i posted on social media on my other social media that i was going to take this thing out and i heard some people saying i've been thinking about buying that i've been thinking about buying that um buyer beware I, you if you're going to the ocean front like i just did this probably will work for you on 10 especially if 10 is open I don't think if those guys were in Bermuda weren't there, I will no, I would have not made any contacts on 20 meters with it. But um, but all in all, I had a blast. It was a lot of fun, and it's a fun toy to play with. So, with that said, um, there you go. Buyer beware, but um, if you got a few bucks and you want to play, it's worth it. I, I enjoyed it, and um, and I pulled that and put that all together on a quick, you know, quick moment. Of, we're just coming down. I was like, I got to take something, go play some radio, uh, and and it was fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.